OK, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to calculate return on investment. I'm going to give you two scenarios. The first scenario, we have five campaigns. We have the costs of each campaign and then the resulting sales figure. The second example is where you have an investment of $10,000 and then you have the balance at the end of each year and you want to work out the return on investment. Let's take the first example. So for campaign one, We'd start by taking the sales value and subtracting from that the cost of that campaign. Then we'd put that in brackets, so it's calculated first. And we'd divide that by the costs of that campaign. If I press enter, you can see I get a decimal result, which we need to express as a percentage. So on the home tab of the ribbon, you can click on this button, the percent style button. And then you can use this button here to increase the number of decimal places. So I made a 3.63% return on investment for campaign one. If I copy this across, it will show me the return on investment in each of these campaigns. So campaign three did particularly badly. Second example, I've got a $10,000 investment, and this is the balance at the end of each year. Let's work out the return on investment for year one. So I would take the balance at the end of year one minus the value of the initial investment, I'd put that in brackets, and I would divide that by the value of the initial investment. Now if I press enter, I need to format that as a percentage, and I'll say two decimal places. So at the end of year one, I've made a return on investment of 7.13%. Now to copy this across the other columns, I need to lock my reference to the initial investment value. So in other words, I need to lock this B10 reference. Now to do that, I place my flashing cursor in that cell reference and I press F4 on my keyboard. If F4 doesn't work for you, type the dollars in as you see them there. And I need to do the same thing here. Press enter, copy that across, and I get the return on investment for each year. So you can see we did quite badly years two to four, but in year five, the investment rallied and I end up with an overall return on investment of 44.73%. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.